G'day guys, Oliver here from Pacific Toyota. Just giving you the virtual tour of our 2018 Toyota SR Hilux. Now, first off, I'd just like to give you a bit of run through our showroom here at 77 Mulgrave Road. This is one of two of our yards, the other being located at 235 Mulgrave Road. As you can see here at 77 Mulgrave Road, we have a very large variety of stock, uh, ranging all the way from our sedans, coupes, uh, hatchbacks, four wheel drives, and, um, and plenty of more uh, vehicles for everybody. So look, I'd just like to get back to the virtual tour on the vehicles. So this is a detailed run through the Hilux, just to show you the overall condition and the, uh, and the ins and outs of the vehicle. If there is anything that does catch your attention, please don't hesitate to let me know, and I'll do my best to rectify the issue. As you can see, all along the, uh, along the bonnet here is all in really good condition, all really clean, really neat and tidy. I think there is just a tiny little stone chip mark just there on the front, but um, other than that, the rest of the bonnet's all in really good condition, as you can see. So I'll just run, run through the front of the vehicle. So you can see all in really, really good condition. All really clean, really neat and tidy. We've just got this vehicle in just yesterday. And as you can see, still plenty of tread. Sorry about the uh, bit of muddy uh, dirt and grass and stuff. But um, as you can see, still plenty of tread left on your uh, front um, our passenger side tire just there as well. So I'll just keep running through. Just got your uh, front passenger side door. As you can see, all in really good condition. I think there is just a couple little marks uh, just on the inside there, uh, but nothing really, um, nothing really too major. We just like to um, just like to point out everything in the vehicle and just be as transparent as possible. Uh, but as you can see, all your seats all in really good condition as well. As you can see, all your floor all in all in really good nick. I think there is just a little mark uh, just there, but nothing really um, too much to stress about. And as you can see, you just got your front passenger side door all in really good condition as well. I think there is just a little scratch there, but other than that, all in all in really good condition. You do just have your speaker there, water bottle holder there, electric wind window winder there, and just your door handle there. You also have your uh, your tweeters just there as well for your speakers for your uh, your stereo. So we'll just keep running through. You just got your back passenger side door. As you can see, once again, all in really good condition. Really lovely paintwork, as you can see. And just running through, just got your uh, back passenger seats all in really good condition, as you can see. There's no burn holes or um, uh, you know scratches or anything like that on the seats, which is really good to see. And all your vinyl floor all in really good condition. All the back of your seats all in really good condition as well. I think there is just a little mark just there, but um, other than that, all in really good nick on the uh, interior of your uh, back uh, passenger side door. I think there is just a little mark uh, just there, but um, other than that, it's all, um, all pretty clean, pretty neat and tidy. You do just have your speaker just there as well, your water bottle holder there, electric window winder just there, and just your door handle just there as well. So we'll just keep running through to the back. As you can see, lovely big tub on the back. And still plenty of tread left on your uh, back passenger side tire. As you can see, still have plenty of Ks left on those. I think there is just a tiny little mark just there, but that's probably gonna come off with a bit of a wash. Uh, but other than that, as you can see, the tub all in really good condition, all really nice. There is just a little mark just on the back here, uh, but other than that, all really, all really nice and neat and tidy. Just give you a bit of a view of the back just here as well, as you can see, give you a nice view of the uh, tub as well. There's a few uh, few scratches in the tub, but obviously being a ute, um, it's definitely been been used um, and it's uh, it's done its purpose I guess and as you can see as well you do just have your two latches just here so you can open that up uh, just if you do have any longer objects that you do need to put in the back uh, you can uh, you can do so so you just got your Hilux badge just there as well you also just have your reversing camera uh, just on the back which does help out a little bit just when you're um, either backing up to a backing up to a um, trailer and whatnot and as you can see, you've got your spare tire just underneath the vehicle as well. And you just got your uh, tow ball just there and just your, your uh, round seven pin plug just there as well. All right, there are just a couple little marks here and there on the back, but um, wouldn't be a ute if it didn't have a couple little, um, couple little marks here and there. And as you can see, the rest of the uh, tub on the driver's side is all in really good condition. Still plenty of tread left on your uh, back driver's side tire just there as well. I think there is just a tiny little mark just there on the tub, but other than that, all in really good nick. As you can see as well, you do just have your uh, back 
driver side tire, uh, sorry, back driver side door. There is just a uh, little mark just there, but other than that, all pretty, um, all really nice and clean, really neat and tidy once again on the interior. All your vinyl floors, once again, all in really good condition and all the back of your seats, all in, all in really good neck. And also your, uh, the uh, interior of your, uh, uh, sorry, your back driver side door. You just got your speaker just there as well. Your um, water bottle holder there, electric window one, and just your door handle just there as well. So lastly, we'll just run through just to the uh, driver side door. As you can see, once again, all in really good condition, all really clean. Just got your Hilux badge just there. And as you can see, still plenty of tread left on your front uh, driver side tire as well. And you do just have your snorkel just there as well, your uh, Toyota snorkel. As you can see, you just got the badge engraved just there. All right, so I'll, uh, I'll just jump inside the vehicle and I'll just run you through a few of the, a um, little bit of the interior and a few, few of the accessories as well. So I'll just turn it on. You can see all the dash is all in really good condition, all really, uh, all really clean. And as you can see, you just got no, um, no warning lights or anything like that on the dash, which is really good to see. Sorry, I'll turn the aircon down. It's just a bit, um, a bit hot in Cairns today, so I've had to put the aircon on a fair, fair bit. Uh, you do just have your volume control there, skipping through your uh, your stations or songs. Also got your mode button there, so you can just skip through uh, all the way through to your FM. Sorry, I got the volume up a little bit there. Uh, got your um, Bluetooth audio there, auxiliary. Got your AV as well. And yeah, back to your AM and, uh, and FM radio stations just there as well. So you do just have your Bluetooth controls just here, just your answering and hanging up phone calls there. Uh, you just got your um, cruise control settings just there. All your electric window winders for all the uh, four windows as well. And as you can see, you just got another tweeter just there on the um, driver's side door. And you've just got all your uh, touchscreen display here. As you can see, you've got your volume controls, uh, skipping through your, um, sorry, skipping through your stations um, just there as well. Also going to home. Uh, select your phone. You can basically uh, basically pair up a, a phone as well. Um, so all really um, really lovely screen just there. All right. So you just got all your uh, air conditioning controls here as well. So you do just have all your fan positioning, all your fan speed and temperature as well. And you also have your uh, all your four wheel drive settings just here as well. So you do just have your high two, high four, and low four as well. And you do just have all your auxiliary, USB, uh, traction control, downhill assist control, rear diff lock, and just your 12 volt power outlet just there as well. So as you can see, all inside the center console is all really, uh, all really clean, really neat and tidy. And you just got your um, center console just there as well. So I'll, um, I'll just pop out the service history on the vehicle. Um, so we'll just start from the top and work our way back through. All right, so we just got our first service here on the 7th of the 5th, 2018 at 11,535. Just got our uh, second service there on the 8th of the 7th, 2018 at 8,000, oh sorry, 18,905. Got a third service done there on the uh, 8th of the 9th, 2018 at 30,862. Got our fourth service there just on the uh, 25th of the 11th, 2019 at 50,297. Got our sorry, it's got our sixty thousand K service done there on the tenth of the twelfth, two thousand and twenty, at sixty six thousand four hundred eighty one. Uh, you got your um, next service done there on the twenty second of the fourth, two thousand and twenty one, at sixty eight thousand eight hundred and forty four. And you just got your uh, last service done there on the 26th of the 11th, 2021 at 75,693. So as you can see, there is 75,729 kilometers on the clock and your next service is in June until 85,000 uh, kilometers. So still another 10,000 Ks until your next service. Alrighty, so I'll uh, just pop the bonnet and we'll just run through the engine bay. As you can see, all really clean, really neat and tidy inside the, uh, inside the engine bay. Uh, there's no unusual ticks or noises coming from the engine, which is always really good to hear. It's um, all in really good condition underneath the engine here. And as you can see, we have room for a fuel battery as well. So uh, there's always that, uh, always that possibility. Alrighty guys, that is your virtual tour of your 2018 Toyota SR Hilux.
Thank you.